Hello, Internet. Welcome to Try Honda's channel. We are back talking about poker chips, and today I want to talk about poker chip construction. First up is the mold. The mold is essentially what uh, forms these images and impressions and indentations on the face of the chip. It kind of defines a uh, manufacturer. These are all kind of copyrighted, uh, trademarked. Uh, and this is considered the top hat and cane mold from Paulson. It's one of their more popular molds. Uh, another one uh, from the exact same casino, but uh, the other kind of most popular mold is what we consider the reverse hat and cane mold. Uh, both of these are 39 millimeter, both are about nine and a half grams. Um, this has an inlay, which is a little under an inch. This one is an inch and one sixteenth. Um, so this allows a little bit more branding. The casinos like that bigger label or picture on their inlay. Uh, reverse hat and cane is because uh, if you look closely, uh, two of those hat and canes are reversed. That's why they call it that. Uh, two of their most popular uh, molds. Let's move on to some other other molds from Paulson. So you can get a house mold. Bally's here, if you look at this example. Uh, they paid a little extra money to have their own mold made for their chips. Uh, you can do that if you have lots of money. Uh, nice looking chip. Paulson also does that in a lot of their home fantasy chips, which they no longer make, but you see they have their own uh, Paulson chip uh, mold. There's a lot of other different molds that they make um, as well that are specific to some of their chips, but that mold on whatever chip you're looking at will be kind of the defining uh, indicator of what kind of chip it is. Let's talk a little bit about inlays. An inlay is a, well, you might call a sticker, but it's placed on top of the chip prior to it being compressed and baked. Uh, that means that it's basically uh, baked and processed into the clay uh, and it won't come out <laughs> easily. Uh, if you're looking at maybe a China clay chip, they make these chips and they're blanks and then they apply a sticker afterwards. So these China clay chips, uh, they try to do a good job, but they are just stickers that are placed on the chips afterwards. Let's talk about the shape of your inlays. Now you have your shaped inlay right here, which is a higher end option that costs a lot more money to do. Uh, and then here's your regular uh, round uh, inlay. Now some casinos like to try to mimic that shape by creating their own inlays with shaped patterns on them. Uh, yeah, I don't know, I'd rather have the real shaped inlay, but uh, I see what the casinos are trying to do. Now there's also, also some casinos that really like these giant grand uh, inlays that are placed on the chip. Uh, really takes away a lot of the clay surface. You can't really see much of the clay uh, and they become a little bit more slippery and not quite as popular. But let's go into the actual manufacturing and how do they make a chip. So you take a clay disc of black in this case, they punch out the edge spot locations and then they insert the different teeny little slivers of clay uh, into there. And then they put the inlay on and they compress it down and bake it. Uh, and then out comes your chip. And that's actually the clay being pressed in and there is some you know, imperfections, but that's kind of what you get when you're getting a clay chip. You're getting those sort of a uh, little bit of imperfections and this is actually a really beautiful chip, a good example and probably a $4 custom chip just because of the complexity involved with all of the edge spots. Uh, that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comments below.